Everyone, it's Say Luke, and I am. Uh, uh, this is going to be kind of my second video this week because I basically, yeah, I got. Um, yeah, this will be my second video this week because I did some rollerblading on Sunday, and I am in the middle of editing that and procrastinating. But I actually went to the pond and um, got some skating time with my stick in, and so that's what this video is about. Um, it was totally different skating with it, uh, with the stick rather than just um, with gloves or what have you on. Um, I fell a few times for the first time and uh, it actually wasn't as bad as I was afraid it was going to be. Um, uh, but yeah, I, the, my balance was totally off. Um, um, my, I, um, it was harder to uh, keep my stance and today I real found out how hard it is to do crossovers um, while also trying to move a puck and I realized that I really need to get good at that because that's how you get really quick turns and everything and um, so I know what I need to work on next uh, I also discovered how much my back hurts after doing that and uh, yeah, my friends laughed at me when I was talking about that, but um, it actually doesn't last very long, and actually on the way home, the endorphins kicked in. And actually, yeah, so um, yeah, I had fun yesterday and today. Today I got um, a bit better at um, controlling the puck. I was actually worried that I was going to fall down a whole lot more and not be able to do much with it my first time, but I actually... Um, and uh, one of the guys I talked to... Um, even said that uh, I actually did pretty good, uh, really good for first time. So um, I am I, I practice shooting a little bit, um, but I am not very good at that. I cannot, um, and I know that takes specific um, pra uh, you know, specific um, practice to do, and uh, I'll get better at that. I also probably should start doing some upper body work exercises. I need to look up some that would be best for uh, hockey. Uh, if anyone has any uh, um, suggestions, uh, let me know in the comments. Um, but yeah, I, um, I, I really enjoyed myself once I got used to it. Uh, the other problem I had was my... Um, I learned how to wrap my uh, stick, and I basically just wrapped the blade and gave myself a knob, and that's it. Because my stick is actually has a grippy coating on it, and it was my uh, my gloves are brand new, so they actually grip really well. So it was actually hard to maneuver my hands up at, um, on the stick itself. Um, until I got used to having to, you know, actually open my fingers to move, and I'm getting better at it. Um, but the f I, uh, yeah, I, I am. Part of my falling down was because I couldn't move my hands on the stick to m maneuver it into a, you know, better thing for for balance purposes. <laughs> so, um, unfortunately, I didn't get any of my falls on camera. Those came before I actually put my phone up. Um, but yeah, I think, um, I, I, uh, I think I found my new favorite thing. <laughs> I know I need, I, I know I need, I can't just spend all my time practicing stick stuff because I really need to practice a lot of skating because I, uh, I paid attention to what the other guys around me were doing with their skates and... Yeah, I, I really need to focus on skating a lot, not just. So I think what I'm going to do is I will go to Chaparral and practice regular skating stuff one day, and then another day, and then the next day during the week I will do um, stick stuff. So um, I will uh, show you the footage of yesterday and today. Well, I don't think I will have this up tonight because I am still getting the other one together, plus I have other stuff to work on, but... Um, so yeah, Tuesday and Wednesday. Uh, this today's the ninth. Wednesday the ninth, and Tuesday the eighth. Um, so yeah.
videos before I um, recorded this part this time so I could actually comment. Um, I actually, well, like I said on the first video, you can't, actually, I don't know if I, I started talking and doing this without actually hitting the record button, so I may not have mentioned this in the first one. Uh, but uh, yeah, the first one, I you can't really see me doing much because I couldn't, I didn't know where I should really put my camera or my phone to record. But this time I found a good spot. Or er, today I on on today Wednesday I found a better spot, and so I got a lot more better footage. Um, and it's not just just me just staring at my upper body and then me staring at the ground. Um, I was actually, um, when, um, uh, from my perspective, when I'm skating, I, when I'm working in skating, I feel really awkward and that I wasn't really doing very well myself, but actually I think when I reviewed my footage, I, I actually did, um, pretty good considering it was my second time. Um, I know I really, 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 really need to work on learning more fine-tuning and fine-tuning my skating ability. Um, I also learned today that it's really, really hard to do crossovers when your back is hurting. Um, but that's, uh, that's something that will come with time once I get better at agility and things like that. Um, yeah, I don't think I can practice with my skate at sh my stick at Chaparral. I think I saw one guy doing it once, but it was not a very crowded day. So I'll uh, I'll actually might as well just ask. <laughs> you know, and there's no such thing as a stupid question when you're learning. And my light went out in my car, and it's my battery's not down. It just automatically turns off the light after. Um, there we go. Uh, <laughs> And please, no, 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 no. But yeah, I um, I had fun. I uh, I'm feeling good about myself about what I've learned. Um, if anyone sees if my form is bad, I really, really, really want to know now so I can, um, um, so I can fix that in the future. Um, so I don't keep learning bad habits. I really, I, I really want to make, I, uh, I'm asked, uh, the guys there to, if they noticed me doing something really, really bad to let me know. And they said they would. So that's cool. Um, I, uh, I was, I'm actually pretty, I'm kind of a socially awkward person. So it's kind of cool to, uh, so I have a fear of actually talking to other people so uh, it, it's actually cool to see how friendly and helpful all the um, people in the Austin hockey community that I've actually seen so far are and, and so yeah um, uh, so it's they've everyone I've uh, talked to online or real life has been really helpful and uh, so I really appreciate everyone who's helped me out and uh, look forward to getting better and um, actually getting to the lessons later this year so I just got to get um, shin guards, elbow pads, chest pads, a cage from my helmet, hockey pants. So five more things. I can probably get the elbow and shin guards at the same time because they're not too incredibly expensive. Um, and I could actually probably get my cage when I get my hockey pants if they have them at Chaparral. Um, and then uh, the shoulder pads and then practice jerseys and uh, hockey socks. And um, yeah, I learned, a, a, I started, I looked at a thing about how to, you know, put on all the hockey gear once I actually have everything. And oh, no, I need hockey socks to go over my uh, pad or my shin guards and stuff. So I, um, I'll be able to get that by the end of July and then I'll be able to start the hockey lesson so I'm really really excited about all of that so uh, thanks for watching and uh, like I said I'll, um, I really appreciate all the comments let me know if you see me doing anything wrong or suggestions or any workout tips or anything that I exercise that I can do on or off the rink I really appreciate any 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 kind of advice at all thank you so much for watching and thanks for everyone who's been uh, helping me and giving me advice